Grieving families who lost loved ones to COVID are set to meet the new chairman of the Scottish Public Inquiry into the handling of the virus. Lord Brailsford was appointed to succeed Lady Poole after she quit last month citing personal reasons. On Tuesday he will meet members of the Scottish branch of the UK group COVID-19 Bereaved Families for Justice. The solicitor acting for the group said Lord Brailsford's first task must be to win the trust of the families. Ahead of the meeting in Edinburgh, solicitor Aymer Enwar said, the grieving families will look to Lord Brailsford to restore their confidence that the Scottish public inquiry will be an effective mechanism to ensure that no institution, and no minister of government, whether they be Scottish, Welsh, UK or Northern Irish, is allowed to escape robust scrutiny. The Scottish inquiry was set up by Holyrood ministers and will run alongside the UK-wide inquiry. To date, it has cost taxpayers more than U2M. It was set up to investigate areas such as pre-pandemic planning, the decision to go into lockdown, the supply and distribution of personal protective equipment PPE, and how the virus was dealt with in care homes. Mr Anwar said, for the last two years the families that we represent have campaigned for an independent public inquiry to take place into the handling of the pandemic, both at the UK level as well as in Scotland. These families have fought to hold to account those in charge of our public institutions, because thousands of people died who didn't need to. Families had previously told Deputy First Minister John Swinney they felt betrayed by the inquiry, which they said had promised to keep them front and centre. When Lord Brailsford was appointed as inquiry chairman he acknowledged the enormous responsibility of the role. He added, the public are rightly looking for answers and no more so than the loved ones of the nearly 16,000 people in Scotland who died during this pandemic. I promise the families, that along with the inquiry team, I will work independently to establish the facts and ensure the inquiry thoroughly examines the decisions taken throughout the pandemic.